Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Lachlan. And I'm Simon. We are DZ Death Rays. And? You're watching Ambi. Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with DZ Death Rays. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hello. How are you all doing? Good. Yeah. Yes. Bad. Feeling pretty good. Down in the, the, I don't know, dumpster alley right now. <laughs> <laughs> Trash alley. We're going to yeah. embrace yeah. it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's great. It reminds me of my life. We actually had to load in before and like, you know, lifting something really heavy and then getting like a waft of trash is like yeah, really hard to do, you know. <laughs> Makes you want to stay in a band. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're now on this North American tour. This is your fourth, I believe, show in a row in Canada. So just how has Canada been treating you so far? It's been really good. We, um, we haven't been here for ages, like yeah. many years. So it's been awesome to come back and, and do some shows. And we played Quebec City. Montreal, we got today in Toronto, and we're going to Ottawa tomorrow. So yeah, it's been great. It's just an awesome country to just hang out in as well. I heard you guys talking about poutine before the camera oh, yeah. started rolling. Is yeah. that your mission for today? Get oh, we've had our fair share already. Already? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We've been yeah. eating poutine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we still expect a lot of jumping on stage? Because I know it just it sits in there for a while. Yeah, I yeah. haven't had any today, which is weird. But you, I yeah. don't know. We'll see what happens. It's got to be a post gig sort of yeah. thing. Well, before this, you're actually in Australia. You're performing with some great bands like Violent Soho, and as you're repping right there, Dune Rats. What was it like touring with your buds? It's awesome. Yeah. We've been talking about it for years to sort of like put that tour together, and um, it just all sort of like worked out that Soho were putting out their record, and Dune Rats and us were available. And yeah, we put it together. It was amazing. We played some of the biggest shows we've ever done in Australia, and the crowds were, you know. Off tap. <laughs> off the chain. Off the chain. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've seen in a lot of other photographs as well that you're repping band shirts. So what are some of your favorite band shirts that you own or ones that you know you're just never going to be able to get rid of? Ooh. Oh, that's a good question. I mean, you've got I'm, some I'm awesome. I'm a huge Future of the Left fan, so I like yeah. buy all their shirts. And like just local friends that are in, in bands and stuff have, seem to have really good shirts. So yeah, yeah. I, got a, I got a rad uh, Mets shirt from when they toured Australia. Oh, a couple of years back, we did a show with them, and I love that shirt. But you know, like when you play in white shirts, they get pretty gross. Yeah. So you got to start cutting the sleeves off, and they get <laughs> smaller and smaller. <laughs> and then one day they just disappear. Yeah, and then you just you lose them somewhere. Well, so on the music front, "Blood on My Leather" is such a wicked song. In the video that you put out, where you're kind of just hanging out with Satan for a day, wicked, <laughs> wicked video. What was that like putting it all together? Um, like the video? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was just a, you know, it was a pretty cruisy one, like a, just a day. Um, and it was with Arj Barker and, you know, we, we did a video f with him on our first record. So we were kind of like, we're bu like buds now. We can just hang out together and, yeah, chew the fat. Were you a fan of his before and then you kind of just hit him up and then the yeah. friendship began? Yeah, exactly. He's quite popular in Australia and he's, all, like, he's actually, he used to live there. So, um, yeah, was, we've, you see him on TV all the time. I saw you were in the studio, you posted something about you're cooking up some new material. How is it all coming along? It's really good. We did a song in, um, in Montreal. Uh, I get, yeah, it's going to go towards the record. And because our producer, he lives there, um, so we thought we've got days off. We may as well just jump in the studio with you. And It was cool just working somewhere different as well, you know, away from the, the, what we did out, where we did our last record. And just kind of take us out of our um, comfort zone a little bit. And uh, yeah, we, we just did one track, but it came up pretty good, I think. And I'm assuming yeah. that one track's going to be on the forthcoming album. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna. It's gonna be like a single. Okay. It's put out this year, and um, and then that'll go towards the album. We're kind of just like piecing this record together because we haven't stopped touring. Yeah. So you know, touring is where you kind of like for a band like us, it's where we like a make our money and b get our fans. So we kind of just keep doing it. So we just had to f like slot all this recording in between tours. Well, so many bands have told me before they find it really difficult to write while on the road. Is that kind of the case for you as well? You just want to embrace yeah, road life yeah. and then... Too tired when we're, like, traveling. Yeah. Um, you know, write occasionally, but most of the time Simon and I will just get together for a week and, and jam and then we'll go home because we live in different cities in Australia and we just write over email, just sending each other ideas. Okay. Yeah, and it works out. It's cool. I like to see something on your Facebook, on your about section. It says, we started at a house party, we will most likely end at one. So what's the craziest house party or party you've been to? I reckon there was one we played in, in Leeds in the UK. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. a Monday night <laughs> and we played the show 
at like a venue and then after the show we went and played this house party maybe you know 11 p.m or so because like shows are pretty early there and there was more people at the house party they had really? they had cardboard like over all the walls with like graffitied and um yeah just the lounge room was just crammed with people and the crowd surfing and stuff and i was like this is a wild house party <laughs> yeah yeah it was a good one come that one went to like dawn yeah literally leaving the front and like stepping over passed out people <laughs> trying to get out of this house party in the morning is that something you've encountered because you kind of mentioned police didn't come like that was a rarity is that something that happens often in australia it does uh, yeah okay we oh, yeah. had a run of doing like warehouse parties and we did like three in a row that all got shut down by the police before we even got really? to play yeah. yeah before you got to play yeah that's yeah. crazy <laughs> yeah yeah well i just want to do a little quick fire round with you okay so the first one describe your perfect pizza what's what are the toppings <laughs> Just pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of just straight up pepperoni. Or like, yeah, you know, keep it simple. Yeah. Just cheese. Cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Very simple, guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And if you if you were to trade places with an artist for a day, which artist would you love for that to be? Oh, Tay-Tay. <laughs> Tay-Tay. Yeah, probably do Tay-Tay. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. Okay. Um, I'll go with that. You'll go with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about yourself? Know, uh, it's out. I'm going to go with Drake. Drake? Oh, Drake. Oh, no. oh, no. yeah. I'll go with Fever then. We're in Toronto, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's a must-have on your tour rider? Uh, a room full of puppies. You know, we've been asking for it for a while. Not yet? Not yet. Yeah. Okay. Not yet. Do any of try. you have puppies? Any dogs? I've yes. got a bulldog at home. Yeah. He's pretty, pretty cool. He smells a lot, but he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> and just for the last one, what's the last photograph that you took on your phone? Uh... I love this. Check. I love when the phones uh, come out. It's probably. I think uh, it was a picture of Lachlan with a, a famous dog. I've got oh. a video of Shane. But next to that is me and a dog. You and a yeah, dog? Okay. Yeah, actually, it's the photo I sent him. Oh, it's the same photo? <laughs> 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 Which is like. Yeah, that's, that's Iggy, adorable. Iggy, Iggy Joey. Um, she's more famous than we are on Instagram. It's a, f- a famous dog. And yeah, how'd you come yeah. across? Um, it's our friends. Oh. Yeah, she, we, that we got know connections. From, yeah, well, we know her from Australia. and. Um, she's been living here for five years. Okay. And she's got a famous dog. That's fantastic. Yeah. It takes, like, the dog's getting her to... I don't she's, know, she's flying to LA or something soon. She's and in the dog fame game. Yeah. <laughs> it's out of control. I don't know. I don't, awesome. know. I don't get it. It's, it's, cra- awesome. crazy, it's a crazy business, the dog, dog fame world. Well. The dream gig, yeah. Yeah? So, just to wrap things up today, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing our interview? Oh. oh. Thank you. Party hard. Thanks for letting us do this. There you have it. That's it. There you have it. Simple guys. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for your time. Before the camera started rolling, I just said how long we would wanting to do this, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's no, cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's Thanks. my pleasure. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Do we, do we wait? <laughs> <laughs>